Hi everyone, Adamo Kalele here from Remax West. Today I'm in the studio. I wanted to bring you a little behind the scenes look at some of the numbers or the analytics behind a listing on the market. Basically, you've hired an agent to sell your home. You've discussed pricing, marketing, the home has been prepared, but the most important thing is communicating the listing, the feedback, and all the other analytical numbers to your client. How do you do that? I've broken this down into three sections. The in-person or live analytics, the online analytics, and also your marketing analytics. And how can we gauge these numbers and show your client how well their listing is producing in the marketplace? First one is the in-person or the live analytics. These are showings from other realtors, people that contact you through realtor.ca, and also through your actual brokerage itself. Um, each brokerage, so Remax West for instance, will track and log every single real estate agent that has shown the property. So at the end of let's say a week or, or, or 30 days, we, have, we can easily gauge how many uh, real estate agents have showed the home. The next part of that is, is following up for feedback. It's important to call these agents and discuss uh, what they and their clients thought about the property. So that way we can ultimately give that information back to our clients. Maybe there's some things that a lot of people don't like about the home and, uh, and we can address those. Uh, the second part of this is the online analytics. So I'm gonna take you behind the scenes now and show you uh, what I look at and what you guys should be sh uh, looking at and providing this information to your clients. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so the first part uh, we're looking at here is uh, what every realtor in uh, the Toronto Real Estate Board has access to. Uh, it's our main screen, it's the torontomls.net system. What we do once we go in here, this is the backend system we use to you know, determine pricing, keep an eye on the market, see what, sell, uh, what properties are selling every day. So as you can see here, I have Vaughn King, 34 new listings today, and there were 118 updates. So what we're gonna do there, is show you guys today's sales. So what I like to do when I meet with new clients or when uh, you know we're talking about pricing and what's going on in the market, I like to sit down with my clients and show them, you know, one on one what is going on. And I, I actually pull up this list, this uh, exact screen here, and I, I show them what I'm looking at. So that way, we're all on the same page when we're determining, you know, what the appropriate. Uh, um, market value is for their home and what the best way of going about pricing their home is for the market so um, today there wasn't much in terms of sales we see some sales here some leased properties but ultimately I mean this is your hub for searching whatever you need to search pulling up any old uh, listings any history you'd like um, that we need and is valuable to when we are meeting with people or talking about the market and any prices if we dig further right over here under realtor link this is going to give you the um, information we need for uh, your current listings on the market so once you're in this section here uh, obviously we you know some of you use web forms you have web forms here the key important uh, uh, factor here is the listing stats so we click on the listing stats so this is your hub for uh, your listing and your listing stats on realtor.ca Realtor.ca is obviously the main uh, source for uh, real estate listings uh, as they come out. And this is a good way for uh, real estate agents to provide some insight to their clients on uh, how their listing is uh, performing and how many people are actually taking a look at it. So, uh, for example, we'll look over here at uh, this property I have listed at 16865 Caledon King Town Line. We've had about 1,287 views on this listing so far we'll go in a little bit further. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys stats for the last 90 days of this listing. Uh, it is a rural property, so it has been on the market quite a little bit of uh, longer time than uh, I'd like it to be. However, uh, again, this gives you good insight on how many people on a daily basis are actually taking a look. So as you can see here, we have our stats on how many views uh, within a certain time period, a breakup of where people are actually looking at it. So obviously the Realtor.ca website is the number one uh, driver of, of views to this listing. And then you also have other websites that uh, people are using to have a look. So I'll show you right here. 
right here you can see there are other fact other websites out there that are driving some people uh, to this listing Kijiji and home finder being the two top ones as you can see right here and again it breaks this uh, this up in uh, different segments so you can get a better understanding now when we go back here on the realtor.ca site what's important to take note of are the views so um, we have had 796 views in the last 90 days and it also tells you where people are looking at them whether it be on their iPhone or their Android and also you know how many people have favorited them so they want to they're interested in the property and they're just keeping an eye to see maybe they're gonna book a showing with their real estate agent maybe they just like the property um, so there's different factors as to why that happens but at least we can get a good insight as to how many people are interactive with this listing next I'm gonna show you my personal website so this is the adamocolella.com website every website out there should have a back-end system that gives you some insight as to again who is looking at your content um, when are they engaging with your content and sort of what day so here's a timeline between October 9th to January 9th this is the total number of visitors to my site uh, which is great I got 969 unique visitors and what's important about this too is these this graph correlates to some of the marketing I've done on these specific days or within this certain time period so when I run an Instagram ad um, you can see the spike in, in the number of people that come and visit the site so that's that's obviously good because that's what I'm trying to do is drive traffic to my site now to go a little bit further here you can see that uh, again there's a graph pie chart here of, of where the traffic is coming from so 71.6 percent of it here is direct uh, 15 percent of it um, about 15 percent of it is through Instagram again these are the ads I run and then you also have Google um, Google's very important I just came to realize that as I started a um, a campaign to get a little bit more Google reviews and that's been great for me uh, in the last little while so now in terms of listings and our content uh, taking into account the Caledon property we can see here that 214 people have viewed this property so I'm gonna click on that link just gonna show you how it looks on my site again just some further insight that you can provide to your clients and show them that you know you are marketing their home people are looking at it um, through these various facets of, of what's available to us other last piece of information here is uh, Instagram um, Instagram as you guys know has been great for me I like to run sponsored ads direct sponsored ads and what's great about them as well is you get to track and see exactly what's going on so for instance hi everyone uh, this great video that below. Stallone uh, media did for me we're gonna I've been running ads on Instagram with this video I'm gonna show you the insights incredible. here you go view insights um, you can see obviously how many likes you have how many comments how many people favorited it uh, what's great about it I've had great interaction with this so we've had 253 promotion clicks and uh, most of those came from this promotion they came to visit my profile uh, visit website um, that was in the past 113 none of them came from this promotion and I got two phone calls from this as you can see 50% the other great thing is the discovery uh, we've had about 11,000 people reach through this promotion and 90% of them weren't following me so that's great and uh, and as you can see very good numbers on impressions and the audience men women age groups and where they are coming from so um, all these numbers all these factors are, are very important to take a look at and sort of see who your audience is and gauge what kind of message you want to put out there to them third part of, of these uh, analytical numbers is the marketing uh, marketing obviously is very important to any listing you want to be able to track and see um, how much traffic is driven through your marketing now Instagram social media those are great things Facebook Google advertising you want to be able to get some insight and provide that insight to your clients 
Um, Stallone Media, for instance, has a great backend system on all their tours, which we're going to show you. And, uh, and it'll give you a really good insight as to who's looking at your listing, where they're actually coming from, and how you can use that information to potentially, uh, obviously to sell the home. But in some cases, the home might not sell and there's going to be reasons for that. And we need to relay those reasons to our clients. And having these numbers and this information available to you will be very helpful. Okay, so what we're looking at here right now is the uh, Stallone Media backend system for uh, any of the photo and video tours uh, that are out there right now. This one, as you can see, is for 4780 King Road. It's a beautiful, large uh, property in King that we currently have off the market right now just for the winter. But as you can see, uh, it's done fairly good in terms of photo views, tour views, total number of visitors. Um, you could also see how many views each photo has received and the tour traffic as we scroll a little bit further down. So over the last seven days, you know, there still have been some people going to uh, visit this site. This one here is a site specific tour. As you can see, there's a website here, 4780kingroad.com, which um, is it's helped in terms of easily directing traffic to this tour and this website. As we go down here, top referring sites, because I uh, have been running some Instagram advertising for this for this property, you can see a lot, most of the views have come from that. So obviously the advertising works, people are clicking the link and they are being redirected to the site. Uh, the second most uh, uh, referring site is realtor.ca. So that's, that's always a good thing. People are on realtor.ca and they're having a look there. Uh, the other great thing about this is uh, we receive these reports to our email and which we can then send to our clients. I know a lot of my clients love it when I send them this report. They get to engage and see uh, as well what we're looking at. So again, great value added for, uh, for realtors, for their clients uh, that they can do for them. I want to thank you guys for taking a look at this video. I hope it's been very insightful, informative and helpful, whether you are a real estate agent that didn't know about these uh, tools available to you. Maybe you are a client or somebody that has their house listed on the market with a real estate agent. You could always feel free to ask them for that insight and they should be keeping a constant line of communication with you because um, that's the most important thing. Guys, thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.